Alrighty, so if you haven't flown the north side before, then there are a few things to know. Uh, number one is it's a little bit advanced. Number two is you need a guide. Uh, you need a really good briefing. There are so many things to know that no one video or even no one day of, of lessons introduction could possibly prepare you for flying this site over the long term. Um, simple site, very smooth terrain and clear air in front of it, but at the very same time uh, can be very technical. So let's just say that you find yourself flying the north side. Um, there's one essential piece of information and that is the north side point of the mountain below back avoidance and also technique if it does happen to you. So we had one last night, there have been a number this year and when we talk to the people, we find out that they just are lacking some very simple basic education. We're here to give it to you today. Like I said, there are many other things to know beyond this. So first thing is, if it's easy to bench up on the north side, don't. That just means that it's probably too strong. So file that one away. We'll go ahead and just make a few notes here. If it's easy to bench up, don't. You want to bench up on a night that's difficult so that shows some skill and so that by the time you get up there, it's not too windy. So let's just say that you bench up. If you're nicely high when you go to bench up, to the right, it's windy, much windier than it is to the left. So fundamentally, you would make a left as long as you're nicely halfway, three quarters of the way up and kind of starting to make your way up. Another thing is if as you start to make your way this direction, you find that you're going up, you don't need to go any closer. Be as far out in front as you can. If you go to fly the north side and it's anything kind of strong, then you wanna spend your whole evening down at this end. So you go down here where the hill falls away. Don't ever go back to the right here where you see the dot right now. This is a kind of a sucker area that's in the rotor. It's not totally obvious. You can kind of go off the end of this and and get lulled into thinking that this is a place you should go, but it's not. So only go to the edge here and then turn. When you make a turn, it's always good to check and make sure that you can go forward. So check that you have that good forward speed. Ideally you have a GPS and that'll show you just how fast you're going forward. If you're um, starting to come down a little bit, well then by all means come back this direction, but don't come back over the parking lot. Just come back this way a little ways and then make your 180 and then just fly this end of the hill for the whole evening. When it's time to come down, you go out from here and you wanna go out towards 7-Eleven and Chevron. And they're right here where you see the circle right now. So you see 7-Eleven there, Chevron there. And you go out over them and when you first go out, number one, there might not be very many people out there and you might think that you're not doing a smart thing, but it's okay, everyone has to go out here to get down. But number two, by the time you go out there, you may find that you're not coming down immediately, but don't worry, you will. So just go out, out, out until you start to come down. Always have a look back here toward the north side. See what the trend is. See if it's windy. See if people are staying up. Um, if it looks good and uh, you want to descend back and join the, the north side pattern there and then come in and land, that's great. Uh, it's worth knowing that we have an excellent emergency field in Whedon Park, Whedon Farm Park. If you ever uh, go out and you go, you know what? It's just windy at the point of the mountain. I shouldn't have taken off in the first place. I'm lucky to be forward at all. I do not want to go back there. Go land at Whedon Farm Park. There's not a lot of hazards there. Study it from the ground. Um, let's just say that you make a mistake. This is the crux of our chat today. Let's just say that you make a mistake and you do come back here where it's incrementally win more windy down here toward this end of the hill. And let's just say you get right about here and you're not going forward. So the question is, what do you do? Well, number one is hands, hands up-ish as much as you can justify while still preventing any deflations and that sort of thing. Track forward, go forward. We've seen people who didn't believe that they needed to go out in front of the bench. So they just kind of stayed over this part right here. You have to go out over the water treatment plant and beyond sometimes to come down. It might take a while. What took you a minute or two to get up to might take you 30 or 40 minutes of pushing a little speed here and there, letting off the brakes here and there, working it forward, going forward in order to get forward and down. Have a little faith. If it's going your way at all, it's going your way. Now, that doesn't always happen. Sometimes people make mistakes. They bench up at wrong, the wrong time and 
Sometimes they go down here to this end and it's just too windy and they can't go forward. Now, here's the main thing. Do not go back into here where you see the dot and the arrows right now. This area back in here that we're looking at is all rotor. And if you end up back in there, I would love to see your reserve out. The people who go back there, they half of them throw the reserve, half of them don't. Of the ones that do throw the reserve, uh, they're all okay. Of the ones that don't throw the reserve, half of them get hurt. And it's a bad deal. It's not necessary because at this particular hill, we can slide down to the end of the hill. So all you have to do is just take your altitude. You should be quite high. Lean to the left a little bit. You'll drift down here towards the end of the hill. At a certain point, you'll realize that you've cleared the end of the hill. Right here is the end of the hill, and that's the gravel pit. And you'll go, okay, and you'll turn, and you'll bail, and you'll cruise down this direction, and you'll overfly the gravel pit. You'll overfly the south side. It will look incredibly tempting to land at the south side because it's familiar, wind socks, cars, campers, bathrooms, you name it. Same thing with the bottom of the south side. That's a sucker deal. Do not land at the south side when you're blowing back. Go out here because out here, the wind will actually be clean. Fundamentally, the bottom of the south side's in a rotor when the wind is out of the north. So go out this direction. And this is about where people end up, somewhere right in here. And they start to descend as they make their way back here. And then naturally, you turn into wind. And I can't guarantee you're going to be going forward when you do turn into the wind. In fact, you might be going backwards. I recommend that you keep your glider into wind, uh, work the brakes, keep it open. Somewhere in here is not a bad place to set down. Notice we're a long ways away from the south side. We're a long ways away from rotor. I'm not saying you couldn't get thumped by some of this terrain that's in front of you here. Feel the brakes as you come in there. If you come backing into to this landing zone, don't worry about it. There's not anything evil behind you. So it's not worth pushing the speed bar um, and potentially having a big deflation on speed bar. Keep it into wind. Hopefully you touch down before those, those vehicles and stuff. This is kind of the spot to end up. And many, many people have done it. And we come pick you up and it's okay. So I'll keep it short today. That's essential information. You need to have this visual. If you don't have it, now you know. If you don't have this information, that means you lost something in your P2 education. This will help to prevent at least one or two bad things from happening. But you need to ask yourself the question, what else did I miss out on? So my point is, go back to your instructor. There's a chance that they taught you this and you forgot it. There's a chance you weren't listening or you didn't understand. Go back to your instructor and say, hey, I need to get up to speed on this blowback technique. Um, plus, quiz me. What else am I missing? What other stuff um, could manifest here at the north side of the point of the mountain that I'm not hip to? Um, what else do I need to know? Um, there is at least one school in town that doesn't teach north side flying as a part of one of their programs. That means that a group of students, P2, will show up to the north side without um, having been there with an instructor. This happens systematically over the decades. Um, what it means for you people that haven't had north side education, you have to get it somewhere. You cannot just pick it up. Uh, we talked about uh, top landing pitfalls. Now we're talking about flying in wind pitfalls and position pitfalls. And there are others. Believe me, there are others. So link in with us. We're not about the money. We'll teach you this stuff for free. We don't care. What we do care about is that you stay out of harm's way. So don't go fly in this place without a coach. Don't go fly in this place without getting a briefing. Don't go fly in this place without being on radio with, with somebody for your first few times so that you can prove, prove, prove that you have game. Sorry for the rant. As one of our members um, slash not members pointed out recently, I come off as the self-appointed, you know, chief. And the truth is I'm the co-chair of the USHP accident committee. And um, I've just been doing this a long time and I care. So am I self-appointed? Sort of. Um, do I care? Tons. Uh, do I want you to stay out of harm's way? Yes. And am I all about sharing this stuff? Totally. So you have any questions at all? Don't feel, don't be afraid rather to contact me. Totally at your service. My name is Chris. And I'll make sure that my contact info is in there and literally come up to us, literally come over to the Superfly trailer van, et cetera, and get some inside scoop information. We have time for you.